Nolvet Kunonga makes a final effort to block an order from Zimbabwe's highest court. For five years, Kunonga has presided over the assets of the Anglican Church in Zimbabwe. But the Supreme Court last week ordered him to give them back. And those charged with his eviction showed little mercy, merely startling efficiency. <laughs> Even as Kunonga insisted, he doesn't have the keys to the office or keys to the cars he has to hand back. Kunonga was excommunicated from the Anglican Church in 2007, but he seized its properties, forcing its members to worship under trees. And it's been a very lucrative state of affairs for a man very close to the president. These are the offices of the Anglican Cathedral in Harare. Inside, what looks to be a music studio. On the outside, a crash run by Gunonga's daughter. Churchgoers welcomed the eviction. We are overjoyed by the response of the authorities. For a long time we've been worshipping outside our churches, so this development has brought joy to the Anglican Communion. Okay. But Kunonga is vowing to fight back, even if today in Harare he found himself logged out. Robert Shivamu, Johannesburg.